Mother's Day is this Sunday, so if you haven't started thinking about it, it is time to think about how you can spoil your mother, grandmother, your wife. Breakfast in, bre in bed or brunch is always a great way to start the day. And here to teach us how to make crepes is Rebecca Waldron, the executive chef of Bushes. Thank you so much for joining us. My pleasure. What is it about crepes that makes it such a great brunch food? Uh, well, I mean, first of all, they can be made ahead. Mm -hmm. So very easy. So you can make them ahead and they're delicious. And so they're, they can be as light as you want mm -hmm. or as rich as you want. Right, and they can so be so really so. decadent. Oh man, they can be decadent. So either way, you, mm -hmm. you can't lose. Now we're looking at, at crepes and I was just asking you, you know, crepes, they can be delicate. And mm -hmm. I'm thinking, how do I make crepes that I don't end up with a bunch of crepe fragments and I end up with real crepes? Well, first of all, crepe fragments are still delicious. <laughs> so okay. if you attempt and you end up with crepe fragments, then you are still in good shape. However, what you want to do, one of the keys is making sure that you mix the batter a couple hours ahead. Mm -hmm. um, you know, it can rest for about an hour uh, before the night before is even better. Okay. So what does that do? Do you refrigerate it and it, uh, does that just change the texture? It, yes, it kind of, all of the, the batter, it kind of relaxes the glutens and everything like that. You get um, a lot more pliability and your batter just is much more easy to work with. And it's super easy because you can make it the night before. So you just put everything in your blender or uh, your mixer mm -hmm. and mix it all up. You don't even have to, you can throw flour, eggs, everything in at the same time. Mm -hmm. Mix it up, put it in the refrigerator and take it out in the morning. And you're using non-stick pans because obviously that's important. You don't want your crepe to stick. If you don't have a non-stick pan at home, can you do it in uh, some other kind of skillet? Yes, you, you can do it in a small skillet. So what I'm using here is a non-stick skillet. You can use a larger skillet if you want in more crepe batter, or you could use a, a, a skillet that is not non-stick. You just have to use a lot more butter. So I'm just occasionally brushing the pan here with a little bit of butter. But if you're using a, a pan that's not non-stick, you got to use quite a bit more butter. Quite a bit more butter. Yes, which and, is delicious, but yeah. <laughs> and that larger size would make it more tender, more fragile? Uh, just a bigger, I mean, think of like tortillas. You know, they're okay. smaller tortillas and bigger tortillas. If you mm -hmm. want a lot of fillings in there, you might want to make them a little bit bigger. So this crepe pan I have here, mm -hmm. Uh, you don't have to have that. If you have one, great, but you mm -hmm. can see that that's bigger than the little pan I'm right. using here. And of course, crepes are all about the filling. So tell us uh, yes. what you're going to uh, uh, put in these crepes today. Well, what we did today was we made a quick strawberry rhubarb compote, okay. which is basically just strawberries, rhubarb, a little bit of sugar. You can adjust the sugar lower if you want and you're gonna bring that to a simmer on your stove. Mm -hmm. Once that is done simmering, you basically have a beautiful little compote that you can use on crepes, you can use it on pancakes, you can use it in uh, like yogurt parfaits. So it's very versatile. So we've done a crepe situation over here ah, with strawberry rhubarb compote and whipped cream. Uh, now, and you have some of the compote yes. inside, then some on the outside. Well, it, right now you can just fold them into corners if you mm -hmm. want into little triangles like that and put your toppings on the outside. Okay. Or you can kind of put fillings on the inside and roll them up burrito style. Okay. And you know, you've got these little beautiful packages of deliciousness. All right. Yeah, and so. that and uh, can I taste the? Oh, oh yeah, here, here, here. Oh, fork. Here's oh a fork. there we go. There we you go. Have a, have a fork. Yep, yep. And there a reach. Go. There you go. The reach. There you go. Thank All you. Right. You're can welcome. And so you can see that they're they're kind of light, but if you wanted to lighten them up a little bit, mm -hmm. then just fresh fruit. Um, if you want to make them richer, I've got some Nutella mm -hmm. over here and some Biscoff, some cookie butter, so you can make them super rich. So it's just one thing. You can also make the crepes the night before mm -hmm. and reheat them gently in an oven. What if I don't want to make the crepes? Do you guys make crepes? Well, we don't make crepes to order, unfortunately, but okay. we do have a wonderful array of uh, scones okay. and muffins and coffee cakes, and we have beautiful fruit. So if you need to get something for mom on the fly, you can just go in and grab a bunch of wonderful baked goods and you can spread that out with some uh, fruit and you can be a hero. And you can tell them Rebecca said that this is great. It is. Thank you so much. Rebecca Waldron, executive chef of Bushes. Thank you so much for joining us.